What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here for you. In today's video, I wanted to do a first look video at this interesting new product called Heatbit, which is a self-heater slash Bitcoin miner all in one. Uh, and I found out some very interesting things about this. Stay tuned, you do not want to miss this one. All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I just wanted to do sort of a first look on this Heatbit Bitcoin miner slash heater all in one and did some digging on the company itself. Bottom line is this product is available for pre-order. If you want a 5% discount, link below in the description if this is something you end up being interested in. But I did pre-order it myself just because I'm interested in looking for products that help you earn Bitcoin. Very similar to the CoinMine One device that I have that you can't find anywhere anymore just because the demand is so high and the production has stalled. Now, the just to kind of give a preface, I'll link that video in review at the end of this one, but the CoinMine One is basically the size of a PlayStation. It hooks up with an app, you plug it in, and you can mine Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, and a few others. I've been mining Ethereum over the past year and a half, and it has paid for itself more than twofold. So over time, these things will allow you to make money. Now, is it efficient as other miners? No. Is it going to help you make the most amount and the most efficient way to mine your own Bitcoin? No. This is designed for someone that wants to plug and play. And the way I see this is if you're in the part of the world where you have to heat your house either way, you might as well be mining Bitcoin or earning money while you're doing it. Now we'll get to the pricing and some of the other things in just a minute here, but I, I wanna give you a concept here of the idea of having a sort of a space heater that simultaneously mines Bitcoin for you and you can track it and withdraw it and do all that via the app. If you come to the website, you watch the little trailer. Basically, if you're in a room that's 170 square feet, it will heat the entire room and it's not loud. Now, I actually back in the day, back in 2018, was using an Antminer S9 and I lived in Utah at the time and in a basement, it was mining Bitcoin for me, but it was louder. Literally, the decibel level was louder than a lawnmower. So I had to soundproof rooms. It was in four stories below me in the basement of a basement of a basement. And ultimately, it was effective for a long time and it did generate a lot of heat. The problem was it wasn't convenient because it was extremely loud. Now, what this is claiming here, you go, in, you obviously you get the app. Very, this is very similar to the Coin Mine one, like I said, but it has an ASIC built in, and we'll get to the specs in just a minute, so that it generates heat. And this is purely designed for heating a small space. 1300 watts of power gives you 1300 watts of heat. So it's just like a normal space heater. Looks pretty sleek. But again, you're mining Bitcoin. And they include a calculator here, for example, depending on your kilowatt hour, how if you're running it 24 hours a day. Again, if you're in a cold country where you need to heat a space anyway, why not earn money and why not mine Bitcoin because you're already doing it, okay? So this is compelling for a number of reasons, particularly that if you're in the part of the world where you literally are running your heat year round or at least a majority of the winter into the spring and so on, this could be very lucrative over one to two years and not only pay itself back, but you're stacking sats at the same time. Now this is an ASIC miner, again, almost the equivalent of an Ant Miner S9. So it does have 14 terahashes per second. That's its max. It, it consumes 1300 watts, again, similar to a normal space heater. Now the key here is the noise is less than 42 decibels. This is key because, for example, on my Coin Mine 1, it's no louder than my PS4 right? So it's not intrusive in terms of the noise that it that it puts off. So this actually is comparable or maybe even more quiet than a standard space heater. And again, it says here it keeps 150 to 170 square feet of space warm. Now, obviously, you know, that this is just sort of the first iteration of this. Soon they'll be able to have much bigger ones, 
that generate a lot more hashes that will mine you more Bitcoin and can fill maybe great halls or great rooms or think of the commercial implications down the line. Now, there isn't a similar thing that uh, as I was digging through uh, GitHub and some other things that they're working on here and, and reading some Reddits and, and some th things like that, there are competitors that are coming out with like water heaters because you'll always need hot water and just sort of the idea of, of coming up with heating a space but simultaneously mining Bitcoin. So it, it seems like a pretty sweet engineering design. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm buying this purely as, you know, because I love the concept of it, not because I need it. I live in Arizona and it's February and it's 75 degrees out, right? So I'm not in a position at this exact moment in time where this is going to be useful, but I am going to be uh, plugging it in and running it at my sister's house in Utah where this will use t around the clock 24 seven and be mining Bitcoin. So it's actually a very valid use case, especially when, you know, in those higher altitudes, you know, you're potentially running and needing to run heat six plus months out of the year. I mean, think of Russia, think of all these other places that are uh, primary Canada, primarily cold most of the time, and you're running heat for your home most of the time this allows you to do it in a very convenient way so again it's designed specifically to create that much uh, you know 14 terahashes the equivalent of that but it's quiet it's efficient you plug it in you sync it with the app hook it to wi-fi done it's over now they come with three different models you have like a sleek black and white you have a black and orange and then sort of like a wood version of it and let's get sort of to the pricing now you can pre-order it right now. It used to be a couple months ago. I was looking at some previous videos that this was starting at $9.99, but again, cost of chips is going up. Uh, the demand is also going up. Right now, if you do it, it's $1,149, but if you click the link down below in the description, you can enter the code at checkout, BTC lockup, all one word. It'll give you an extra 5%, which will drop that down to just over a thousand bucks. I'm ordering one just purely you know not because i'm saying it's going to generate it's going to be paying itself off right away i know these things take time especially if the hash rate changes over the next couple of years but for me bitcoin and mining bitcoin and contributing to the network and the whole concept of doing that like i'm already doing with the coin mine one to me is worth it so obviously depending on what pool they use in terms of generating you returns and so on and so forth test it out for a year that should break me even, you know, obviously longer periods of time I'm stacking sats and who knows where the world's going to be in a couple years, especially with all the turmoil and, and things that are going on in the world right now. But I just think it's a really cool concept. Uh, I've ordered one. I'll do an unboxing. I'll do a review, give you my honest feedback on it. Go to the website again, link down below in the description. And then if you decide you want to get in on this because the prices are just going to keep going up, manufacturing costs are just insane right now. You know, you can run the calculator and see if it makes sense. But the way I approach this, like I said, is the exact same way as the Coin Mine One device. It's quiet, it's easy, I forget about it, and I'm mining a lot of Bitcoin. Well, with the Coin Mine One, I'm mining Ethereum, but this one is an ASIC for Bitcoin specifically. They may add more coins uh, on the same hashing algo later down the road. Who knows? This is a new product that's still in its pre order phase. So. Just wanted to kind of throw it out. I thought it was cool. This is an idea that I thought of several years ago and these people are actually doing it. So I'm, I'm trying to think of actually other hardware based use cases that solve a real problem. You know, people always are heating their homes in various parts of the world. So finding a way to earn money and to mine Bitcoin simultaneously is amazing. Again, the uh, water heater idea is actually pretty cool as well. If there was a way, especially being in Arizona, that it's hot, I would say eight months out of the year. It seems unlikely, but if there was a way to take the hash power of an ASIC and find a way to, you know, turn it into air conditioning, you know, for cooling. Obviously, mining generates heat, but if you could find a way to do the inverse and generate, that would be a game changer as well. So anyways, those are just sort of my thoughts and first impressions. I don't have this device, but I did order it. When I get it, I'll do an unboxing full review and kind of let you know how it is, but just a really cool concept. I looked at some other companies. There were some very other sketchy websites. I've reached out to the business inquiries to ask and see if I can talk with the team and get some of my questions answered. So I may do a follow-up video here, but just this overall concept of a space heater and generating heat with Bitcoin is very compelling, especially with the noise not being very loud. So 
I, I will digress on that point. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do uh, to answer it for you. But again, this is just a first look video, so let's see what they actually come up with when we're talking or when I actually get the device in my hand. Right now, they're saying that the e, that the ETA is going to be one to two months. Again, supply chain issues, so we'll see what's going on there. And for now, Crypto Renegade out.